Hello and welcome back. So today I'm doing something a little bit different. Because I have gotten so many new foundations in PR recently, I think I have one, two, three, four, five. Five different new ones to try. But I don't know why, but I feel like it's it's always the same. It's like all at once I get like 12 new foundations and me being a creature of habit, I always just stick to the same one. So I decided to film just dedicated foundation videos so you can see how they wear, see what they're like and all that type of stuff. I did see a girl on YouTube do this style of video. I think it's like her thing. She seems to do a lot of them. And I just thought it was such a good idea because it really shows how the foundation lasts throughout the day. So she usually does it in initial application, shows you what it looks like. And then later on, then at the end of the day, she'll show you again how the foundation wore. I thought it was such a good idea to actually show you how the different foundations will wear. My skin is on the drier side. It's not extremely dry. Like I don't get dry patches or flakiness or anything like that. My skin can feel tight sometimes. So so it's definitely on the drier side of normal. I can't think of the girl's name right now, but I'll link her on the video somewhere or in the description box so you can check her out. So today I'm going to show you the new Fenty Hydrating Foundation. I am very excited about this because you know me, I love Fenty, but there are other foundation and primer I can't really wear it because it's just way too dry for my skin. So I was very happy when I saw that they were bringing out a Hydrating one for the dry gals and guys. But they have brought out a hydrating primer and a hydrating foundation. As you can see, the foundation tube is a little bit different than the original one. The matte one looks exactly like this. Um, so this one is like a squeezy tube, which I kind of like. I think it kind of looks cool. And then when you travel, you don't have to worry about smashing or whatever. And then I feel like you'll get more out of this because you can just chop it off and scoop the remainder out when you get to the end of it. Let's just jump right in. I'm gonna start with the primer. It's kind of like a gel, like a nice soft gel-like texture, which I love. I love the feeling of gel on my skin. I feel like it's just so soothing and calm, like the minute you put it on. Okay, primer is done. As I said, it's a nice gel formula. Feels really nice on the skin straight away. Just feels like skin. Now into the foundation. This is the shade 230. I got this foundation brush in the package too. They had a different foundation brush. It was like more oval, whereas this one is more round and buffed, which I love. This style of brush is always a go-to foundation brush for me. It's really good for building up the coverage and then it buffs the foundation out for that really nice flawless finish. So overall, it just gives you such a nice finish on the skin. That colour is actually perfect. I think I was like 210 in the other one. So I'm surprised that this one isn't too dark. Hopefully it doesn't oxidise. I haven't seen any reviews or anything about this foundation. I don't know anything about it. Because sometimes when you watch a review and somebody says something about it, you're kind of watching out for that particular thing. Like if someone says, oh, it was too dry on my skin, you're kind of waiting to see if it's going to dry your skin out. Rather than just kind of doing it and letting it do its thing. Does that even make sense? It makes sense in my brain. So usually at my chin area, I just kind of tap it on because I have some redness from damn hormonal acne, which can go straight to hell. But it actually covered it really well. So far, I really like it. Yeah, it has that really nice dewiness, what you can see here. But it's not too dewy for the people who don't like it too dewy. The coverage is really nice. It's enough coverage to cover what I needed to cover, but it's not too much coverage that I look like I'm wearing a mask. Like I can still see like some of my freckles here coming through, you know, so it's skin like, which is something I'm very much into lately. I still love a good coverage foundation, but I'm very much into my skin still you know, looking like skin. But I do have some like pigmentation and some scarring that I like to even out and cover it. So that's why I do like the fuller coverage. But I feel like a lot of the fuller coverage foundations that I'm trying recently have the same effect, like skin-like but full coverage. So I am very much for that. Okay, so far, I really like it. I think if the wear 
holds up because it does say it's long wear. It says it's a hydrating long wear foundation. You want to get a whole work day out of it, which is like a good eight, nine hours. I'll leave this on for like a good eight hours, if I can. <laughs> I'll try and leave it on for as long as possible. I don't like leaving foundation on my skin for that long, but I will leave it on for as long as it takes for this video because that is the point of this video. I'm going to quickly show you an up close. I hope that's focused so you can see here. This is just the primer and the foundation on. Hasn't separated in any weird areas. Don't mind my pimples, that is life. You can see here, it sits really nice on the skin. I'm very impressed with this. You know the way sometimes different foundations will like separate around the nose or around here? This one doesn't. So I just went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup because I'm going to film some lip swatches now. So I wanted to have my makeup done for that. The foundation is still sitting perfectly, the concealer, the powder, anything that I used on top of it, it didn't affect how it was, so it's still a-okay. It's been about an hour already since I did the rest of my makeup and ate some food. So I'll give it another like seven hours or so. I want to give it like a good eight hours. I feel like that's like a good enough time to really test it out and see how it wears. So I will check in with you later on. So it's been about eight hours now. Eyelashes came off a long time ago because... Mm -mm. Okay, so it's been about eight hours and I just wanted to check in because I'm about to have a nice shower and wash my face. I cannot wait. That's my favourite part of the day is taking my makeup off. This is what the foundation looks like after eight hours. Pretty good, I think. It's been really hot here today, like humid and clammy. Uh, the worst. So even considering that, it's lasted quite well. It's gotten a little bit more dewier throughout the day but I kind of like that. But if you are someone who doesn't like that, you can always just like touch up a little bit with powder. Not that big a deal. The foundation itself stayed on really, really nice. So you can see it hasn't really separated. A little smile line here, but that happens with every foundation. But yeah, it's lasted pretty well. If I have any marks here, ignore that. They're, that's just from my glasses. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'll show you my chin. The redness does usually come through anyway, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Usually like my foundation will wear off here and like around like this type of area, but I think it looks okay. Oh, and it didn't oxidize, which is great. I'm very happy about that. So this for me is a win. I really, really like it. It works really well for like my drier skin type and I think you'll be seeing this a lot more on my channel. I hope you liked this type of video. If you did, please let me know because I'll happily do more. But if you hate them, <laughs> then I won't. So please let me know what you think. Um, and also, if you do like these type of videos, let me know a foundation you want to see next in the comments below and I will get cracking on the next one. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. I swear, I think I, I think I grow it. I literally think I grow this fluff. Oh, I have like purple shampoo in my ear. Gross. It doesn't feel, okay, something in my eye. <laughs> Why can't I say the right words? Paisley, don't eat the plant.